Hi friends, welcome to classes by Lab Doctor. In today's class, we will see how do we detect the glucose in the urine. So, uh, you all know glycosuria is abnormal excretion of glucose in the urine. So, that could be because the glucose level itself is more in the blood as it happens in case of diabetes or the glucose level is normal in the blood but there is some problem with the kidneys. The kidneys are not able to reabsorb that glucose. So that is also called as renal glycosuria. So when you see a normal report of uh, urine routine and microscopy, we usually do not see any amount of glucose in the patient. So this you can see urine glucose or also urine sugar. The method is oxidase, peroxidase method and the reference reference range and the patient's value. So, the normal excretion, how much of glucose is excreted in the body? Every day, it is less than 500 milligram or 0 0.5 gram per day. And if you take a random urine, it will be less than 30 milligram per deciliter. So, how do we estimate the glucose. So, one is very commonly done test is a reagent strip method and the other one would be your uh, Benedict test, the copper reduction test. So, the Benedict test. So, this is the test which we usually do when we want to confirm etc. And earlier we used to do this Benedict test but nowadays we mostly do the uh, our reagent test but whenever there is a doubt when we want to confirm we do the Benedict's test. So, Benedict Benedict's test, what is the principle of Benedict's test? So, in the Benedict's test, what happens is this we have a Benedict solution. So, we take the Benedict solution and add the urine in it. And the Benedict reagent which is there, it will contain the cupric ion. So, this cupric ion which is present here, uh, if at all there is glucose or a reducing substance in the urine, that what it will do is it will reduce the cupric ion to cuprous oxide. Uh, and give a different color. So, that is how you get different colors in case of Benedict's test. So, here we take 5 ml of the Benedict's reagent, we add 8 drops of urine to the sample and then we boil it for 2 minutes or keep it in a water bath for 5 minutes. A light green, a yellow and a brick red color is produced depending upon the concentration of the urinary glucose. So, this is the blue solution when there is no uh, glucose etc. in it. Here you can see traces of reducing sugar when you get a greenish or yellowish precipitate. You get orange precipitate that means there is moderate amount of glucose present and if you get a brick red precipitate that means large amount of reducing sugar is present in that urine sample. The next common method of doing uh, the urine uh, glucose is our reagent strip method. So, this reagent strip method, this is based on a specific glucose oxidase and peroxidase method. Okay. So, it is a double sequential enzyme reaction. So, what happens in this test? Here you see this is a glucose. Whenever it comes or whenever it is oxidized in present of glucose oxidase, it becomes gluconic acid and hydrogen peroxide is released. So, whatever chromogen is present there. Now, the chromogen can be, you know, either potassium iodide or trimethylbenzidine, etc. So, this chromogen, when it reacts with this hydrogen peroxide in the presence of peroxidase, this oxidized colored chromogen. So, it forms an oxidized colored chromogen and that is a color which we try and identify in our reagent strips. So, you will see that when you get this glucose, there are different colors which are present here and when you uh, read the reading when on the reagent strip, suppose uh, if the urine color is around light green, then it is around 100 milligram per deciliter that is traces. Then you have 1 plus which is uh, 250, you have 2 plus which is 500 3 plus which is 1000 and 4 plus which is more than uh, 2000. So, the same thing with the Benedict text. So, if you get blue it is nil. In green it means it is traces. This is around 100 milligram per deciliter. In brown it will be 2 plus and yellowish orange you will get it in 3 plus and if you have brick red in Benedict's that is 4 plus. 
this uh, reagent strip uh, how it acts because whatever glucose is present suppose if it is present in the patient's urine it is oxidized by this glucose oxidase which is there in the reagent strip with the resultant formation of hydrogen peroxide and gluconic acid and the oxidation of the chromogen which is present there that will happen in the presence of hydrogen peroxide and the enzyme peroxidase with resultant color change so this is the principle of reagent strip method sometimes you will get false negative false negative means though there is glucose in the urine sample sometimes you might get that there is no glucose there is no reducing agent in that uh, urine sample for example if there are ketones if they are present so that time you might get it as a false negative suppose if there is ascorbic acid which is present it might give you a false negative result salicylates if they are present or if it is a severe urinary uh, infection like e coli infection that time also you might get a, a false negative uh, results sometimes you will get it as a false positive if there are any oxygen oxidizing agents which are present that time you can get a false positive re, uh, result but you have to remember that this is the principle of the glucose uh, uh, detection method by reagent strips times sometimes kya hota hai patient ko uh, uh, 4 plus aa jata hai uska glucose mere uh, report mein 4 plus diye hai uska matlab kya hai mere report mein 2 plus diye hai uska matlab kya hai so you should be able to explain to the patient agar patient ka urine mein hum log traces dete hai to iska matlab uh, tentatively uska 100 mg per deciliter rahega any random urine we expect it should be less than 30 mg per deciliter agar traces aa raha hai to around 100 mg per deciliter uh, usme uh, glucose reh sakta hai Ag agar 1 plus aa raha hai to it will be around 250 mg of glucose per deciliter and agar uh, usko 2 plus aa raha hai to it will be around 500 mg per deciliter tak uske यूरिन में ग्लूकोज एक्सक्रीट हो रहा है एंड इफ इट इज मोर देन 2000 मिलीग्राम पर डेसिलेटर देन यू विल गेट इट एज 4 प्लस ऑन द यूरिन रिएजन स्ट्रिप आई डू वी गेट दिस ग्लाइकोजूरिया इट कुड बी बिकॉज ऑफ एंडोक्राइन कॉजेज लाइक इन केस ऑफ डायबिटीज मेलाइटस वेर इन बिकॉज ऑफ लेस सेंसिटिविटी टू इंसुलिन और लो इंसुलिन लाइक इट ऑल्सो हैपन्स इन केस ऑफ क्रॉनिक पैनक्रेटाइटिस देर इज नो इंसुलिन सो दैट टाइम वॉट हैपन is there is high level of uh, glucose in the blood stream and that time it is excreted in the uh, urine that is because of the hormonal abnormalities like in case of growth hormone abnormalities cushing syndrome hyperthyroidism etc sometimes what happens the blood level of glucose is normal but still we are getting glucose in the urine that is because the kidneys are not able to reabsorb the glucose it could be because there is any damage to the proximal convoluted tubules like in case of fanconi syndrome etc or the renal threshold only is reduced the kidney has a threshold beyond which agar usko cross kar gaya to wo absorb nahi kar payega to agar uska threshold hi kam ho gaya like in case of pregnancy to it will excrete the glucose in the urine so that is what is called as renal glycosuria as i mentioned about the fanconi syndrome gestational uh, glycosuria in pregnancy what happens is the renal threshold hi kam ho jata hai so that time the uh, sugar the glucose gets excreted in the urine then you have elementary glycosuria so elementary glycosuria is when the gi tract will absorb more of glucose Uh, from the intestine that uh, you know after having a heavy meal ya to kisi patient ka uh, stomach bariatric surgery ho gaya hai uska stomach nikal diya gaya hai so that time you might get high uh, spike of uh, sugar in the blood stream but this is temporary and after 2 hours if you see there will be no glucose in the urine so that is called as elementary glycosuria so the glycosuria can be with hyperglycemia as i have told you in diabetes acromegaly cushing syndrome patients on corticosteroids hyperthyroidism etc and glycosuria can be without hyperglycemia also the patient ka blood sugar normal uh, theek hai but still uske urine mein glucose ja raha hai like in case of renal tubular 
dysfunction so these are the various causes and these are the methods how do we detect the uh, glucose in the urine either by reagent strips or by your benedict solutions etc so thank you so much for watching the video please like share and subscribe the channel thank you